Hi everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to um, offer another tip for um, end of year as we wrap up the school year and we want to organize and prepare our technology in the best way and the most efficient way possible to prepare us for a really good start to the year next year. So uh, we've talked a little bit about Google Drive and putting everything in a single folder for one year and starting fresh next year. We've talked a little bit about Google Classroom and how to wrap up Google Classroom for the year to prepare for next year. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you check those out. Um, today I want to talk about the H drive on your desktop or your laptop. Now the H drive is your network drive. So everybody, let me go there real quick. So if you go to File Explorer, you have a C drive and that's your hard disk on your actual device, whether it's your laptop or your desktop. But what I'm talking about here is this H drive. Um, the H drive is your network drive. Everybody has a folder. Um, designated with their name on the network and this is used to we used to put some files on here um, so we could kind of share stuff but we don't need to do that anymore we have Google Drive and so um, anything that's on the H Drive is just bogging down our network so we're trying to get into the habit of putting files and storing files on the cloud which is Google Drive because we can organize everything there we can share easily and so we're trying to uh, make our network as efficient as possible. So what we're going to do is take all of these files and put it in Google Drive. And then um, we're going to come back here and delete these files so we can get it off of the network. And so um, hopefully if everybody does that, our, makes our network little, work a little bit more effic efficiently. All right. So what we're going to do is go to Drive. So this is where you would um, you could create a folder and then upload your H drive into that folder. But I'm going to show you if I just upload a fold, the H drive folder, it creates itself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say new and I'm going to say folder upload, and I'm going to click on the H drive itself. You may not see some of the files that I have in here because what it's looking for are folders only. So I want to just do the entire folder. I want to copy or upload the entire folder here. So I just click on the folder. Don't click on any of the folders inside that directory. So I'm going to upload and you, it says upload 15 files. Yes. And so you'll see it over here um, behind me. There you go. Um, so it depends on how many files you have and you can already see that it's already created it. it said it's complete. It may take you a little bit longer depending on what you have in there. Um, but you can see that when I go to that H drive, it's got the files that I had in there. It's got all the subdirectories or subfolders that I had in there. Um, so everything uploaded correctly. So it's on drive. So those are all my files and it's in the same order and organization that you saw in File Explorer. So if I go back to File Explorer, now what I want to do, since everything is in Google Drive, and they're not connected, I can delete them here and get them off the network. Okay, so you can um, you can right click on a file and delete that way. You can um, take a whole group of files using the shift in your left click and then right click and delete that way. Say, yes, I want to permanently delete these. I know it's a little scary when it says permanently delete, but you saw that the files were already on Google Drive. So we have them. We have them even in a better place because we can access them anywhere we have internet. Um, and then just double check, check. There may be um, some things it will not let you delete. I don't think it will let you delete the documents folder or the favorites folder, but you can delete what's in there. Um, so I'm going to delete this one. And go let's see I don't know if there's anything in my favorites nope nothing there so it's not taking up any space my fake folder yeah actually I think I can delete that whole folder I'm going to see if I can do that um yes I want to delete that whole folder uh, it says it's open in another program I'm not sure why so what I'll do is just go into that folder and then delete what's in there um so it's deleted so basically that my h drive I've got these folders here, but there's nothing in them. So basically I'm not taking up any space. 
So um, H drive is clean. I would highly suggest you do that for your C drive as well. Upload that um, to your Google Drive. Now, once you are in um, on my drive, now I can rename this by click right clicking on that folder. I can rename the folder anything you want to. I can change the color. Um, and like I had mentioned in another video when we we're trying to organize Google Drive and I told you I'm going to move all of these folders into 2018 and 2019 and then start fresh next year. But I still have I'll have all of those folders and all of those resources available to me. I might say H drive 2018, 19, and then I would stick that into my 2018, 19 folder. Um, let's see if it'll move over. I don't know if it took. And there it went. So now it's in 2018, 19, and I have those files are still there. Still no, no need to worry. They're still there, and we're not taking up space on the network. So please um, take some time to do that. Um, I would also encourage you to do the C drive as well because that is just bogging down your device and would improve performance. The more you can get off of your hard disk, um, the better your device should perform. So we want um, optimum efficiency for our technology and our network and appreciate your help in doing so. Please let me know if you have any questions.